What's up guys, it's Tobias here and welcome to another second team of the season player review on my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be looking at Juan Mata, the Spaniard from the BPL. Obviously, he plays for Chelsea, so that does mean he is going to be fitting into a lot of squads. So last week I did do a player review and you guys did tell me you would like to see more. So please do let me know after this video in the comment section below who you'd like to see me do a player review on from this BPL team of the season. So looking at Mata then, he is a 90 rated centre attacker mid as I just did say and he does cost quite a lot on PS3 compared to our Xbox on the PS3 he does come in at around 700,000 coins while on the Xbox he's coming in at 150,000 coins cheaper at only 550,000 coins so he is extremely expensive don't get me wrong he is costing well over half a million coins yet that is arguable considering he is a 90 rated player so looking at his in-game stats then you'll be pleasantly surprised and pleased to see that they are all green literally it's just a C of bright bright green they're absolutely unreal ball control for example we're looking at a 93 curve 97 finishing 98 and free kicks 96 they're absolutely unreal but while you guys are going to be listening to me talking about the pros and cons of Juan Mata I do actually have a few goals and highlights which I did get while using him earlier in a few games online so the first of all then I do want to talk about the good things about Juan Mata he's an absolute animal when he is being played in the center attack mid position simply because he controls the squad he's passing left right center he's controlling the ball he's crossing here he's crossing there he's absolutely unreal and he is supplying the strikers with many many assists to allow them to score as many goals as possible I will come on to his major disadvantage later on in the video but for me that was the fact that he was never ever ever on the score sheet and when he did get an opportunity he absolutely fluffed it but yeah getting straight back into the good things about him his ball control is absolutely unreal when you gave the ball to him it seemed as if it glued to his feet I don't know what it was it's probably that 93 ball control it was absolutely unreal and especially when you're looking at his dribbling of 94 he was an absolute tank whenever he got on the ball he was literally making runs making passes to Kone and Hernandez and was literally allowing them to score as many goals as possible as well as that then he does also have a really nice um, crossing stat it is actually 91 and his curve of 97 does mean that whenever he did get onto the wing his crossing was actually pinned point accuracy and allowed the two strikers or whoever was in the box to allow them to score as many goals as possible however with every player on ultimate team it is always the case there are going to be negatives now the one uh, major thing I did find bad about Juan Mata was his pace so if you're looking at his in-game stats he does have 94 acceleration as well as that sprint speed of 87 however for me I didn't feel it felt like that I would say at an absolute push it felt around 94 so whenever he got on the ball yes his um, ball control is absolutely unreal yet whenever I tried to get him to make runs or run off the ball as quickly as possible that sprint speed didn't feel as if it was 89 as well as that then his strength isn't as great as I would have liked it to be whenever he was getting on the ball and challenged by my opposition's defenders or whoever was putting in a challenge to try and get him off the ball his strength of 60 was not high enough he was getting he was kind of like getting bullied when he was on the ball um, he had to get the ball off quickly to try and supply the ball to whoever he was giving it to simply because if an opposition was coming in for the tackle that strength of 60 and that aggression of 66 was a make it was a like he was losing the ball too much as um, more than I would have liked him to do so as well as that then as I did say earlier on this video if you're looking for a player to get as many goals for your club as possible this is not the player I cannot stress the point to you as much as I can don't buy matter if you're looking for a player to score goals that said if you're looking for a player to control your squad allow your strikers to score as many chances as possible like creating as many assists then Mata is the player for you just because a player doesn't score goals in ultimate team that does not mean he is a bad player a lot of people on Twitter were saying to me just because he's not scoring goals does mean that he is, he is a really bad player that is not the case just because a player isn't scoring goals doesn't mean he is a bad player I mean Mata is a prime prime example he did not score many goals for my club at all he scored I think it was around five which was extremely little yeah I think he assisted around 12 to 15 in his first few games simply because of his passing that vision he does have did allow him to cross the ball to wherever he wanted it to be and allowed the two strikers to pick it up and bury it for him so that is all for this player review I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a player to control the squad from the center of the team if you're looking for a player to score as many goals as possible matter is not the guy for you so I hope you enjoy this player review if
if you did, please do leave a like and please do let me know in the comment section below if there is anyone from this week's team of the season that you would like me to do a player review on and I will snap him up and get one done for you by tomorrow. So I hope you did enjoy this. If we could smash a thousand likes, as always, that would be super awesome. And until my next one, I'll speak to you guys later. Take care.